Finally, we can start writing the page. Uh, but before we do, we need some kind of convention for how we're going to name all of the columns in our grid so we can easily remember them later when we want to use them. First off, we need a name for this entire row. And for that, I think it makes sense to just call it a row. No need to make things complicated. Now we need names for all of the columns here, or for elements of different column widths. First one we'll do, well, column one. Why not? It's one column wide, so we'll just call it column one. If we want an element to be two columns wide, we'll call it column dash two to indicate that it's two columns wide. Same thing for column three, that is three columns wide, and so on until we get to column 12, which is the full width of the row. This makes our lives pretty easy. Let's imagine we wanted something to be a quarter of the full width wide. A quarter of 12 is three, so we simply need to give that element a class of column three to make sure it's a quarter of this entire row. Let's go ahead and set this up in our CSS file. First, we'll set up some borders so we can easily see where our elements are on the screen. And then let's set up some box sizing. Then we'll define our row. Remember, each row should take up the entire width of the screen, so we'll set it to width 100%. After row, we'll set up the width of all of our columns. You'll see column one, column two, column three, just like we decided to do before. And each width is set to a percentage of the page. Column one is 1 12th of the page, column two is 2 12ths of the page, column three is 3 12ths of the page, and so on. Now that we've got our CSS set, let's get a sample page to see if this works. In the instructor notes, you'll find the HTML that you see right here. Notice that we've got an outer class of row and then two inner columns, column two and column 10. So together, they should fill up the entire row. Then we have column three, column nine, three plus nine is 12. So these two columns should also fill up this row. Let's see if it works. Opening test.html in the browser, and we see this. Hmm, something doesn't look right. So we can see column two and column 10, but it looks like they're stacked on top of each other. They're not lining up next to each other. Same thing for three and nine, three fours, three six three. Each one of these should just fill up one row, but instead the columns are stacked on top of each other. It looks like we've got a problem here. What style should we add to the row classes CSS to fix the way the columns are behaving? Should we add display block? Should we add display flex and flex wrap wrap? Or just display float? The easiest way to figure this out is to open up DevTools and add these CSS styles to the row class.